welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through 10 hand lettering enhancements that anyone can do. So in my course, Lettering Layouts, we talk about creating these really harmonious, beautiful messages that are really impactful. And we talk about pairing different styles, but sometimes it can be a little difficult to come up with those styles. So this video is to help give you some inspiration and some ideas for how you can enhance or embellish your already existing style. So we're just going to hop right in and get started. So we've got 10 of these to get through. So we're going to start with number one. I'm just using a pen, a pencil, and an eraser. So super basic stuff right here, but feel free to integrate your favorite markers or other lettering supplies. The pens that I'm using are these Microns. They're just super rich black and they come in a bunch of different weights. So I've got my 08, which is a 0.5 millimeter line. And then I've got a thinner one right here, the Micron 02, which is a 0.3 millimeter line. And then I've just got a click eraser just to make erasing a little bit easier. And then a mechanical pencil. So it's really basic stuff. And I'm using just plain old regular copy paper for this. So nothing crazy special. So the very first enhancement is inline or outline. So we're gonna start pretty basic and then we'll work our way up to being a little more complex towards the end. But these are super doable, anybody can do these. So for inline or outline, you're just gonna draw your basic style. So it doesn't have to be overly embellished or anything. It's gonna be very, very simple. So I'm just gonna write the word hi and it's just lines right here. So a really easy way to do this inline outline is all you're gonna do is use your base as kind of like the skeleton to it, and then you're just going to draw around it. But you wanna keep an even space around all of your lines so everything comes out just the way you want it. So this one's a little close over here, but that's okay. So this is option number one. And then the other way is if you just wanna draw it blocky and you have a hard time, sometimes I have a hard time too making it blocky without having the guide inside. So a really easy way to do that is you just draw out your letters and then you take a pen and you go around it with a pen instead. And then when your pen dries, you can go in with your click eraser and just erase it away. So that is number one, inline outline. So number two is inline detail. So now that we've got this blockier look, we can draw another one. Um, so you can go through the steps of creating it perfectly blocky, but if you feel comfortable or confident in just creating it from scratch, you can go ahead and do that. So for inline details, I usually go to a thinner weight pen, and then you're just gonna draw in some doodles or some decoration on the inside to just embellish or enhance your lettering. Okay, so that's number two, inline detail. So number three is what I'm calling texture or patterns. So you'll need to have your pencil for this one. So you're just gonna draw out your blocky letters again. Okay, so I've drawn two sets so you can kind of see the difference for our texture or pattern. So the first one we're gonna talk about is texture. So you're just gonna grab your pen and you're gonna start stippling. And I like stippling a little heavier towards the bottom just to kind of create a gradient. Okay, so you can see the stippling kind of created a texture right here, which is looking pretty good. And then for pattern, you're just gonna draw in whatever pattern you like. These could be stripes, these could be polka dots, cross hatching, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna draw in some simple stripes. Okay, so from here, you're just gonna wait until your pen dries and then you can come in with your eraser and you can erase away your guidelines. Looks like a few of my dots didn't all the way dry over here, so I've got some streaking, but you just wanna make sure that they're totally dry right here, and then you can get that really nice kind of floating invisible letter. So that is number three. So let me label these one, two, three, and now we've got number four, which is our floating shadow. So once again, you're just gonna draw out your blocky letters. Okay, so for your floating shadow, this one can be a little more complex. So the most important thing to consider is where your light source is, so which direction the light is coming from. So if my sun is over here, it means it's going to cast a shadow over here. If my sun is over here, the cast of the shadow is going to occur right here because this edge 
is going to get sunlight so this edge isn't so you just got to decide just make a decision from the very beginning because if you have conflicting shadows then everything's not going to feel right in the end and it's just not going to be as strong as you want it to be so i think i'm going to create my shadow i'm going to have my sun over here so my shadow is going to be cast in on the left side of my letters so once you figure out where your your shadows are i now have a mental note all of my shadows are going to occur on the left side of my letters so now i can start drawing those in and when you're drawing your floating shadow you want to make sure that it's equal distance from your letter so however far you're going to create the shadow so if i create my shadow right here i want to maintain this distance that i have this disconnected distance on all the other places that i draw the shadow and that will give you the strongest most impactful result So it's that simple and you can see it already feels kind of raised like it's floating right there so that is the floating shadow so now we're going to move on to number five which is the multi floating shadow so just like we did right here this time we're going to add even more of them okay so we got our blocky letters i made them a little bigger this time so you can see these multi floating shadows so we're just going to do the same thing we did before so create your base floating shadow Okay, so the multi-floating shadow has two to three to however many you want of the shadow repeating. Um, and you can alter these shadows up a little bit, like you can make them a little thicker if you want some extra interest. If you're using color, you can change the colors with them. So you've got some flexibility right here, or you can just leave them all one uniform weight. So the other thing you wanna keep in mind is maintaining that similar distance as you go. And you also, to make it more believable as a shadow, when you begin your next ones, you're just gonna start a little lower over here so it feels more 3d i guess and you want to end shorter too so it feels like it's going down in the distance so you can see this line is shorter than my first line and over here i i stopped it short a little bit and that'll just make it feel a little more believable as well okay and then we're just going to draw one more in Okay, so that is our multi-floating shadow enhancement. So we are moving on to number six, we're almost there. Number six is our sticker, and the sticker works better, the sticker effect or enhancement works better if you've got more than two letters. So I'm just gonna write the word hello. And you can write this as just your single line, it doesn't need to be blocky. I'm gonna add a little bit of variation to it. Okay, so with the sticker you wanna create an outline around all of them and you want that outline to connect. So I'm just gonna use my thicker pen right here so you can see it really well. So I'm just gonna come like this and I wanna make sure my outline for each letter connects so it's kind of chunky and it feels more sticker-like like that too. And you wanna try and make your distances uniform as well as you go around them. So now that feels a little more like a sticker and then you're just gonna come in and create that shadow. So the same thing we did with our floating shadow, this time we're gonna attach the shadow directly onto our sticker. So I'm just gonna add a little extra weight on this side. We're gonna keep the same light source coming from the top right. Okay, so that is the sticker enhancement. So I'm gonna grab another sheet of paper so we can finish off our seven through 10. So number seven is our 3D block. So we're just gonna create our block letters again. Okay, I'm gonna grab my lighter weight pen and you're just going to do the same thing you were doing with your floating shadow, only this time we're gonna connect it and add a little extra structure to it. The most important thing to keep in mind when you do this is to have a consistent angle and length of that angle off of all of your corners. So I'm just going to make this angle all the way throughout my letters and that tends to always give me the most consistent results. I'll draw all my angles first and that helps me to make all those angles consistent. Okay, so now I can just go in and connect them all. And the more practice you do with this one, obviously I've got a few that extend a little further than I'd like. Um, so then I would just fix that and practice a little bit and then you'll get really comfortable with doing that enhancement. All right, so on to number eight. Number eight is kind of a riff off of this 3D structure. And what you're gonna do is create your block letters again. 
and you're going to draw some repeating stripes, but they're all going to be the same angle and try and make them as consistently spaced as possible. And this is going to create that faux shadow, whereas this one's connected and all blocky. This one's going to be more floating and soft. So I'm going, I'm going to turn this so it's a little easier for me. And you're just going to create stripes all the way down. Okay, so that is our angled shadow, and now we've got two left. Number nine is faux calligraphy, which you've probably seen this online if you're into hand lettering. Um, what you're basically doing is creating a calligraphy look without using calligraphy utensils, so I'm just using a regular pen right here, and I can write my word. This is usually done in script, so your style of lettering is script for this. And the most important thing to know with this style is you just want to thicken your downstrokes and make your upstrokes the thinnest strokes and you want to have a decent amount of contrast so when you look at it you can tell that it feels more like calligraphy and the other thing is is whenever you add weight so I'll just add some weight here since this is a downstroke by downstroke I mean this one came up and then this stroke came down so this is my downstroke so this is also a downstroke right here and this is a downstroke right here so you can see the contrast that's created between my upstroke and my downstroke. And when you're creating the style, you wanna make sure that you get the weight that you add to your downstrokes as consistent as possible. If you're just using a regular pen, your upstrokes will already be the same, but your downstrokes, when you add that thickness to it, you want it as consistent as possible and that will give you a stronger outcome. So number 10, our very last one, definitely the most complex is flourishing, adding a little bit of flourishing. And this can range from being pretty simple to moderate to very complex, depending on how far you'd like to take it. So I'm gonna show you how I would start with simple and then how it can get pretty complex. And I have an entire course on adding flourishing to your lettering. If you're interested, it's an online course. I'll leave a link in the video description for that. So just click on that and you can learn more about flourishing. So just to give you an idea, with flourishing you want to make sure that everything has a natural flow to it. Otherwise it's going to feel forced and it's not going to feel as strong as it could. So if I just write the word high, I can start with a little bit of a curl here and then this is the natural flow of my letter. I can add in some extra embellishment or curls here that still feels natural because I'm following the flow, the natural flow of the letter. And then I can create my eye and now with the dot of my eye, I can also add a little bit of a flourish and actually have it even come through my H if I wanted to. So that would be a basic version of your flourish. And then if you wanted to take things even further, let me grab my lighter weight pen. So this is kind of your base and then you can add in as much embellishments as you'd like outside of this. So I can add in an extra flourish like this some extra lines. So you can see how things can really be taken to a whole other level with the flourishing, but you can stop right at the base where we were. It's totally up to you how far you'd like to take it. So that is our last enhancement, which is flourishing. Okay, so let's bring in our other enhancements right here just to kind of sum everything up. So number one was our inline outline. Number two was our inline details. Three was texture and pattern. Four was a floating shadow. Five was a multi-floating shadow. Six is a sticker effect. Seven is our 3D block. Eight is our angled shadow. Nine is faux calligraphy. And 10 is flourishing. And I've actually put all of these enhancements on a PDF for you that you can download, print out, hold on to, reference in the future, whatever you need. So just click on the link in the video description and you can have access to that PDF download. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.